Hi, this is Jason with the CAIC, and I'm out on an east-facing below tree-line slope having a look at the snowpack. And you might have noticed in the Sawatch zone, um, the below tree-line danger has been a, a step lower than above and near tree-line lately. And this is why. It's a pretty shallow snowpack. We've only got about two feet of snow here, but most importantly, the slab is only about 10 centimeters thick. And it's horrible snow underneath, but we still need a slab before we have problems below tree-line. Uh, it doesn't mean you can't trigger an avalanche below a tree line. If you find a wind-loaded slope, the slab's going to be much thicker and um, you'll be pretty sure that this structure exists underneath. So um, moderate danger below a tree line. When we get more snow, uh, we'll see a higher danger. And for right now, just watch out for, for wind-loaded slopes. Um, one last thing, around the Monarch Pass area, they've had a qu quite a bit more snow. So they're dealing with thicker slabs even in non-wind loaded areas. So use a little bit of caution if you're traveling around that area. So we're looking at a really big avalanche in the background on a east facing slope. Looks pretty fresh. And then right in the foreground, it's hard to see, but um, just uh, 50 feet away, uh, there's a crown of an avalanche that was remotely triggered um, by someone standing about where I'm standing right now uh, just 15 minutes ago. To do an extended column test, there's absolutely no reason to do these sort of tests today to make any decisions. But um, as someone that's interested in snow science, I'm curious to see when it's this unstable um, what these test, test um, results produce. Here we go. Uh, so we're up here at uh, a little over 12,000 feet in uh, the Swatch Range or Independence Pass uh, on a northeast facing aspect. Um, there's a, a pretty large avalanche here uh, triggered in the persistent slab problem remotely from below. And um, you can see it spanned almost 400 meters uh, across the ridge with failure coming all the way uh, through this terrain and running approximately 250 meters slope, uh, creating a, a solid 2.5 size avalanche. 